Hey everybody, it's Bobby. I have a, a project share for you. This is not my original design. It is one that Tammy Merrill came up with. And it's a beautiful album. It's a six and a half by six and a half. And the pages are six by six. This is, uh, she did hers in Marion Bright, A Christmas Collection. And this one that I have done is in Authentique's Pleasant Collection. I just love this paper because the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. The, my favorite part of this album is this front cover. It has a flap that opens up like this and it ha gives you a three page spread. It is so pretty. I'm going to check and make sure yeah, you can see all of it. I have such a small filming area it's hard to stay in frame so I have to keep peeking at my camera to make sure I'm in frame. Uh, on the front cover, I used a couple of the cut-aparts, some of my scraps that I had left after I finished the inside pages. This little piece of uh, glimmer paper, uh, glitter paper, whatever you call it, was from my stash. And then these little flowers, they were really plain, so I got out a glitter glue pen and went around the edges so they would have more sparkle like these larger flowers. And I think these are called Poppy's Papery. I'm not sure. But I usually get flowers when they're on sale or some kind of a special arrangement because the flowers can tend to get a little pricey sometimes, but they add so much to your cover. Okay, on the spine, I use the wood plank paper, and then this is a digital stamp from um, Power Poppy. And I just colored the corn in with my Copic markers. I love to color. And I used a little uh, enamel dot to make it look like it was nailed on there. And then on the back I used the acorn paper and this is a doodle art uh, image that was free on Google of a pumpkin and I just colored that in in the same colors of the papers. So I secured it with a ribbon. And on the inside I have used the lay flat pocket that excuse me, that Tamara makes. And it's got a place for three inserts where you can put journaling or uh, photo mats, whatever you choose. On the right hand side, um, this is just a plain page actually. I added this slit in there so I could put some cut aparts in it. We all like to change things up a little bit and make it our own. So that's what I did there. Uh, this opens this way and then has a flap. It says, in everything, give thanks. I hope you're seeing that. Yeah, I think you can. And on the right side, there's a journaling spot or a photo mat. It opens down. There's two photo mats here. And then this one says, grateful for small things, big things, and everything in between. And I love this old truck. If you haven't seen this paper, you'll want to take a look at it because it's really gorgeous. On the back side of that page, we have a magnet with one of the cut aparts. And then you have a gatefold that opens out. And I've used a couple of the punch outs. In this collection, they gave you punch outs instead of stickers. And they're double sided, so you can choose either this side or the other, whichever one you like the best. Um, these are from the punch out, they're banners and they're loose at the bottom so you can put something up under them. Like if you want to put a picture on there it would slide up under there. So that it goes back this way. <clears throat> and on the right hand side this one lifts up. I have to keep looking to make sure I'm in frame so you guys don't miss it. Um, Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure I'm showing you the whole thing. And then this one opens out this way. Is the old timey truck. And lifts down this way. And then you have another little tuck part here. Tuck spot and another journaling or photo mat. Oops, let me close this first. Then we turn the page over. And this one flaps down. This keeps wanting to come off. I think the magnets from the next page are pulling on it. 
Okay, it flaps down and it actually opens out so that you have three sections here like that and I have little tuck part, little cut aparts tucked in the little slots there they can be for photos journaling or whatever and then you have two photo spots here as well okay on the right hand side we have the acorn paper again it is so cute opens out like this and it says I love this time of year and then back behind that I have two photo mats, two large photo mats. And these I just make on my computer, on my print program. On this side, I have just um, curved this uh, punch out from the collection so that it would fit the page. I put a little bit of burlap behind it and some of the cut aparts. And then there's a little tab here. It folds down. <coughs> And then at the top you have a double flap. It folds up and this one lifts up. So as you see there's lots of space here to put your photos and journaling in. Then on this side we have a double photo opportunity and this is loose so you can put a photo under there. This one drops down. Another good size photo. And here's that truck again, but this time I colored it in with my Copics. And this goes to the side. <coughs> and this one lifts to the top. So, yet again, more photo opportunities. Then we go to the back side, and you have two tag flaps that lift out, and they each have a little tuck spot with some of the smaller cut of parts in it. Four little small opportunities for photos here. And then on the right side, I had run out of the brown artisan cardstock and I was waiting on my next shipment. So I sent Tammy a message and said, Do you care if I change the last page because I'm out of cardstock? She said, No, go ahead, do what you need to do. So I just uh, added a piece of acetate in this little scrap piece of paper to hold it in place. And then you can tuck whatever you want back in here and the acetate will hold it down so that it doesn't fall out. And then there's two more up here. So you can put whatever you, <coughs> excuse me, whatever you want in there and it'll hold it in place. I just put the little hard paper clip here because I thought it was cute. There it goes. Just put that up there. And on the back side of that page you have a pocket opens out like this. You can put all kinds of photos, memorabilia, little um, journaling squares, whatever you want to use. And then we have the lay flat pocket here again with three more opportunities for inserts. So that is my album. I hope you enjoy it. It was really easy to create and you, you can just totally change up the, an album just by the choice of papers that you use. So if you're not already a part of uh, Tamara's uh, Facebook group and you want to use some of these tutorials then just submit a request to join scrapbookers of country craft creations on facebook and once you're approved then you can look at all the videos and the files and you can make it projects forever and ever with the hundreds and hundreds that are there from her and her her design team so thanks for watching i hope you'll leave me a comment and i'll talk to you soon bye